Hey, is there anyone online here? It's me, your VIP guest. Oh, hello, Sandra. What do you need today? Yeah, prepare for me the most expensive, fanciest, and shiny evening gown that fits my huge diamond rings. I just caught the biggest fish of my life. Oh, whoa. Glad to hear that. That's right. You should be happy. It takes stupid old men willing to give me money so you can sell your dresses for a price like that. Let me tell you this. He fell in love with me this time. He even promised to divorce his wife to marry me and give me all his property. <laughs> I'm going to be a millionaire. Oh no, not again. Huh? Uh, nothing. I would love to hear your story. So why did you break up with the last man? I thought you said he owns 12 golf courses and would give you all if you could marry him. Well, the intention was that, but when we almost finished the marriage registration, suddenly his sons and daughter appeared. They hit me, kicked me out of his house and forbade me to go near him, saying that I seduced the old man, causing him to neglect his family. Well, but that was the truth. What do you mean? Uh, I mean, it was truly a horrible day for you. Yeah, just a little more and I would become their mom. It should have been them who were kicked out of the house. So, how did you meet this new guy? I met him at the luxury mall. At the time, I was shopping and looking for a new target. Then I overheard his conversation with his mistress. He wanted to break up with his mistress because she was so boring. She kept crying and begging him. Oh, what a fool. Doesn't she know that men absolutely hate tears? But how did you know he's rich? Well, after he broke up with her, a man who appeared to be his secretary came to tell him that the $3 million project had been approved. But he didn't seem to care even scolding the secretary that such a small project didn't need to bother him. Whoa, it sounds like he's the CEO of a big company. Yeah, I know. His secretary even gave the mistress a check as a farewell fee. I couldn't see it well, but it had at least five zeros. At that moment, I knew he was my next target. Also, he was very young and handsome. Very different from those dirty, greedy old men. It's worth living with him for the rest of my life, isn't it? Looks like you're determined to marry him this time. But how can you be sure that he's rich and would divorce his wife to come to you? Well, of course, baby. I always research carefully before approaching. I have researched carefully. He's currently the director of a real estate company and the mall is his property. His wife is an ugly, boring housewife, and they have been married for three years, but still have no children. Do you know that no man can refuse a perfect, young, beautiful woman? And I am the one who has all those conditions. I'm not sure if what you're doing is right. Forgive me if what I'm about to say might upset you, but it's not advisable to destroy other people's families. Ah, there is nothing wrong here. I'm just going with nature. Think of it as simply that he is fed up with his life and his tasteless wife, and I'm more suitable for him. I am the one sent by God to help him get out of that life. Sandra, I think you should be careful about it. You can't always be lucky. One day you will regret what you have done. I just thought that you approached old men who were divorced or whose wives died early, so I didn't say anything until now. But destroying other families is not acceptable. Oh, come on. I told you my stories because you are just a lowly sales staff with no authority to judge me. Don't think if I tell you some stories we become friends, okay? Don't think that as a classy person like me will play with someone like you. No, I never think that. But I know this is unethical. 
Shut your mouth. It's none of your business. You only have the right to speak here when I rob your husband. Isn't your job just selling, caring for customers and meeting their needs? Yes, that's right. Then I ask you to keep your mouth shut. Pretend you're so excited to hear my story. You should know, thanks to me, you have the highest sales every month in the store. It's a good thing that you and I both benefit. You need to correct your attitude toward me and money. And if you continue to annoy me with such teachings, don't blame me for reporting you to the superiors. I believe they would rather fire you than lose a VIP guest like me. I understand, Sandra. Please forgive me. So, how did you get his attention? I would love to know that. <laughs> That's better. I would happily teach you how to make men love you if you wish. First, notice what kind of woman he's looking for. It can be seen that he does not love someone who has no career, is boring, and doesn't know how to take care of himself like his wife. From the other mistress, I could tell he also didn't like a woman who was too soft, mellow, and sweet. So what does all this mean? Does that mean he's looking for an interesting and powerful woman? Bingo. You're so smart. Do you know it? <laughs> Thank you. Then, after that, I just needed to incarnate into a rich, haughty lady just like he desires and make him pay attention to me. I spend the money the old men gave me to rent a supercar, and when he was driving away, I deliberately hit the back of his car. When I stepped down, I pretended to be sorry and wanted compensation. He was immediately attracted to my appearance and couldn't take his eyes off me. He said he didn't need monetary compensation, but just asked for my phone number and went to dinner with me. Whoa, you really are quite good at it. So you two had a romantic night together? No, silly. I just gave him some money and drove off right away. What? Why did you do that? Wasn't it really a good chance to get close to him? You don't seem to understand anything about men, do you? People often say that women are difficult to understand, but so are men. They want to find the perfect woman, but don't want to get her easily. So you just did that to make him curious and want to know more about you? Yeah, you got it. But how could he contact you when he didn't know who you were? Don't wait for the opportunity to come. Create it. I learned he usually comes to a cafe, so I waited there. And as soon as he saw me, he immediately tried to talk to me and invited me to eat. This time, I gave him a chance. I told my family he is very rich. My parents run a very famous hotel chain abroad, and he didn't doubt it. But aren't you afraid one day he will find out the truth? Oh, come on. No one knows the truth about me except you. But there's no way a poor person like you would know someone as rich as him, right? Besides, isn't hiring a few amateur actors to be my rich parents easy? You're really a professional, right? So, everything is going well? Absolutely, yes. Tomorrow night, he will bring me to the party of the elite and announce his divorce from his wife to marry me. I need the world's most magnificent dress tonight. I will take the spotlight off the party. Well, story time is over. Did you find the dress I needed? Ah, yes. Our store has just launched a limited edition in the special collection that perfectly suits your requirements. That sounds great. However... It's just... Just what? Don't tell me that someone bought it already. No, it's still here in the store, but the price is quite high. You insult me by saying such a thing, Helen. Helen, actually, with one letter L. <laughs> Who cares? How dare you say I have no money? Haven't you heard me say I will be a millionaire's wife? How expensive can a dress be? Well, its price is $1.5 million. What? $1.5 Are you losing your mind? Um, the 
price of the dress is quite expensive because we used very rare fabric and the whole dress is studded with diamonds. I think no one can be as beautiful as you if you wear that dress and show up at the party. All eyes will be on you. Every girl who shows up at the party will be jealous of you. Guys won't stop praising you as gorgeous as a princess. But if you feel the price is too high, I can recommend other beautiful dresses. Hey, I didn't say that I wouldn't buy it. Are you sure I will stand out in that dress? Yes, I can make sure about it. She will definitely be talked about and praised a lot by everyone. Well then, there's nothing my fiancé can't buy for me. Hold that dress for me. I'll go over to your store to try it on right now. Oh, yes. We are happy to serve you at any hour and at all times. Hey, Helen. Is the plan going well? Oh, yes. It's more than fine. She bought that dress at the price of 1.5 million. Can you believe it? I thought it would be difficult to convince her, but... Who knew that I could just flatter her with a few sentences? <laughs> she was more than happy to do so and ask for money from that scumbag to buy it. Well, that's not too surprising. She thinks she's so smart, but it doesn't seem like she is. But if this story broke, would your store lose credibility? Oh dear, don't worry about me. She deserves payback for what she did to you. Besides, I never told her it was a real diamond. What about your side? Is everything okay? Did he sign it? Yeah, he signed the agreement already. I was so scared at the time. I did as you said, sandwiching that agreement in the middle of the company's papers. At first, he was going to read through those papers, but luckily he received a call from her because he saw her name on the phone, so he signed it quickly and left. Phew! That was close. You'll regret answering that phone call. Hmm. Helen, should we do this? Is it too cruel? Come on, Amanda. Don't flake out on me now. Think about what he did to you. Obviously, you helped him build that company. Through his most difficult times, the person by his side was you. And look how he treated you. He intends to divorce you to marry that slut. You're right. It's high time I let this go and do what I gotta do to live a new life. It's time to take back what rightfully belongs to me. It's well deserved, my friend. You wouldn't believe how boastful she is and how proud she feels when she seduces an awful and poor man. I really had to hold my tongue with her. I have to admit, I love it when she finds out that she is the joke. <laughs> hey, Helen. Yes? Thank you for always being by my side and helping me. If it weren't for you, I would probably be in pain forever and be kicked out of the house by him with nothing to show for it. Thank you, Helen. You are my angel. Well, you did say that I am your angel. <laughs> yes, you are. Oh, wait. Where are you right now? I just met the lawyer. I'm quite near to your store. What's up? Great, then come here quickly. You have to come and try on the special dress I made just for you. You have to be the belle of the ball at the party tomorrow night. And showing everyone the real diamonds. <laughs> yes, I'm coming right now. What's happening? Are you messing with me? What do you want? Why are people at the party saying that the diamonds on my dress are fake? I paid a huge amount of money to buy it, right? And why was another girl wearing the same dress as me showing up at the party and everyone saying that it's the real version? When I tried on the dress, you told me this was the only one in the world, right? I need an explanation now. No wonder the liberal elites have a very keen eye. Their reaction exceeded my expectations. I thought you had crawled away somewhere to hide just as you should. You. So you know about all this? Aren't you supposed to be smart? Use your brain, my dear. Ugh! 
How dare you dress me in a dress with fake diamonds like that? You conned me out of $1.5 million for it. I'm going to call the police. You'll be sorry. I'll make you pay. Police? Go ahead. What? Then, Amanda divorced her terrible husband and won the entire property. At first, he couldn't accept this, so he clung to Amanda and tried to harm her. I was so worried about her that I took her home. Then, her husband has been arrested. In the end, she and my brother got together. It turned out that my brother had been secretly in love with Amanda for a long time. I'm very happy to see them stay together. As for that gold digger Sandra, she won't be deceiving anyone any longer. She became poor and had to sell all her goods to live. But she still refuses to work and spends lavishly. What a happy ending for everyone. Anna? Sorry to bother you, you got a minute? Hey there, what can I do for you? One of our relatives passed away. You remember Bob? Can you come with me to his funeral? Oh, sorry to hear about your loss. Of course I'll be there. Just tell me when and where. 10 a.m. tomorrow. P. Funeral Home. Can you come a little early? Got it. Anna? Sorry, but there were some last-minute changes to the venue. We're having the funeral at a different place now. Huh? Uh, okay. But I'm already in front of the funeral home. Sorry, dear. Can you come to Peep Hotel instead? Hotel? Uh, this is a funeral, right? Why hotel? Just hurry. Everyone is here already. You're the only one that's not here. Hurry. Okay. Hey, you there? What's going on? This isn't a funeral. This is a wedding. Where are you? What are you wearing? Unbelievable. Hold on. Explain yourself. Right now. I want some answers. Pick up. Shut up already. I told you it was a wedding. Why are you in your morning dress? What's wrong with you? What? You said it was a funeral. Just stop it, okay? Come inside and apologize to everyone right now. I'm so embarrassed. Can't believe you're my daughter-in-law. Hey, I didn't have time to talk to you yesterday, but now you have to explain yourself. You said it was a funeral. Why did you do this to me? What? I never said that I told you it was a wedding. Stop trying to blame me for your own mistake. Uh, but I got proof right here. It's right on my phone. You said it was a funeral. Stop denying it. Oh, it was probably a typo. My mistake. Why are you so mad? I didn't do it on purpose, okay? Why do you want to make me the bad guy here? You're a terrible person. This is why I didn't want my son marrying you. I warned him, but he didn't listen. Is that why you're harassing me like this? I don't want to say this, but this is really immature of you. Hey, watch your mouth, young lady. Don't push it. And remember, everyone in the family is on my side. I call the shots around here, not you. Remember that. But you're causing trouble for everyone. Just stop. How dare you talk to me like that? Who do you think you're talking to? Uh, my mother-in-law? Shut up! You're always like this. You don't deserve my son. He can do much better than this. This is all your fault. Stop trying to blame me for it. Uh. What's wrong with you, huh? You're so rude. Didn't your parents teach you any manners? This is exactly why I told my son to not marry you. I think we're done here. There's just no talking to you. Let's just do this another time. Goodbye. Hey, wait. You gotta run away. Answer me. I'm talking to you. Anna, I'm in the hospital right now. I twisted my ankle. It's not that serious, but it hurt. Doctor said I had to be hospitalized for a few days. 
Oh, okay. Take care. Bye. Hold it. If you come visit me, I'll forgive you for the way you acted last time. Uh, but you hate me, remember? I know, but I'm giving you a chance here. Bring me some melons. I love melons. If you do that for me, I'll forgive you. The food here sucks. Oh, I see. What about your relatives? Are they going to be there too? Of course, they're family. They're all worried sick about me. Unlike you, people like me, okay? But you, I don't know. I don't think they like you very much. This will be a good opportunity for you to make a good impression. You already messed up once, so don't screw up again. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, what is your problem? Hello, what is it? Did I forget something in your room? Shut up, you did this, didn't you? It had to be you. Why are all my relatives wearing morning clothes? This is unacceptable. Oh, sorry. I must have misheard you. How you said this was your funeral. My mistake. How dare you? If I'm dead, how am I talking to you, huh? <laughs> True that. Stop laughing. This isn't funny. You messing with me, huh? I'm gonna tell everyone about what you did. You're out of the family. You're finished, you hear me? You still don't get it, do you? What? What are you talking about? Your relatives. They were in on this. They all agreed to help me. What? Impossible! Stop making things up. I'm not like you, okay? I've been taking care of this family for years now. Yeah, and everyone is getting pretty sick and tired of you. You think I believe that? Stop lying. What's wrong with you, huh? You should be ashamed of yourself. Look who's talking, right back at you. I met lots of people in my life, but... Never met anyone like you before. Everyone hates you. What? Why else would they agree to help me? And the thing you tried to pull at the wedding the other day? I talked to your relatives after you left. They all believed me when I told them my side of the story. I didn't even have to show them our text messages to get them to believe me. They were all furious with you, and I don't blame them. I mean, what kind of person does that just to get back at someone? And you ruined a perfectly nice wedding. Hello? You still there? Why aren't you saying anything, huh? Shut up! Oh, there you are. Oh, by the way, I talked to Uncle Todd too. He said he was sick and tired of you. Aunt Mary said something similar. She hates you too. In case you didn't know, she never liked being around you. And Aunt Selma. Enough! She was like, someday, I'm gonna get her back for everything she's done to me. What's the problem? Just stop, okay? You want an apology? Fine. Sorry. They're happy. What? Uh, doesn't sound like you mean it. Look. I just felt like you were taking my son away from me, okay? I had him my 30s, so you gotta understand. You love your son. That's fine, but... Why come after me? That makes no sense. I'm the one that raised him. But you took him away from me. That's why I was being so mean to you. I was just messing around with you, okay? Messing around, huh? But you caused a lot of trouble for a lot of people. I apologize. Just drop it. I never accepted your apology. And what about the wedding you ruined, huh? How are you planning to make that right, huh? You're out of control. No wonder your relatives hate you. Ugh, fine. I'll apologize to them when I see them. Fine. Go ahead. Not my problem. Not sure if they'll agree to meet you, but whatever. Huh? What does that mean? What do you think it means? Your relatives, they don't want to see you anymore. Huh? So I was just wondering how you're going to apologize to them. And, uh, I never want to see you again either, so... Screw you! Who told you this? Uh, your son, actually. Your relatives had a meeting and they all agreed. They're cutting all ties with you. Hmm, sucks for you. What? They would never do this to me. I'm family, there's no way! 
Wait, I get it. You're lying to me, aren't you? Don't believe me? Fine. Call your son and ask him yourself. He's not picking up. What's going on? Look, not sure if you realize this, but... You hurt your son. He was really upset. Can't say I blame him either. You embarrassed him in front of everyone. He said he was ashamed of you. You ruined a perfectly good wedding for no good reason. You crossed the line. You went too far this time. Whatever. It's too late for that now. But I didn't do anything! This is all your fault. If you really believe that then, I don't know what else to tell you. Whatever, I'm done here. Goodbye forever. But hey, no worries. I'll still go to your funeral when you die. After that, every one of her relatives blocked her and shut her out. Her husband passed away years ago, so she was all alone now. She had nothing now. She was on her own. She didn't have any friends either. So family was all she had. She went to see some of her relatives after that, but didn't get past the front gate. They didn't want anything to do with her anymore. Maybe if she took responsibility for what she did, they'll forgive her over time, but... I heard she was still trying to blame me for everything, so... I don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon. Oh well, not my problem. Glad she's out of my life. <laughs>